Hello Virgo, welcome, I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading what you may be dealing with and how they feel about you. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. We'll probably do three tarot she read you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Hmm. Hmm. It's a nice energy, Virgo. Real nice energy. Oh, wow. Jeez Louise, Virgo. This is a really, really nice energy. Um, yeah. Who is this? Who is this? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> jump into this yeah there we go that uh, yeah that, that's actually pretty interesting um i like this i like this this is like a step-by-step -step guide um they're very grounded they're definitely very grounded and realistic with their approach to the situation between the two of you i like this because it's definitely what it takes to make a relationship or commitment or connection work um, what they're showing me, Virgo, is things between the two of you are going very well. That they're saying things are just progressing and moving forward where it feels like everything is, you know, just coming together. Um, they feel really good about it. They feel really confident about it. I do see that there's a lot of focus on the future, long-term plans, long-term vision, really, for the two of you. And they're saying, you know what, it's all a matter of how you work with it and what you do with what you got. Um... It's definitely a day-by-day -day thing, which, once again, they're being very grounded with their approach. And so they're saying, even though things seem like it's it's slow, things have definitely, you know, kind of started rolling here in a sense. Um, and, you know, some days, you know, fat, some days go fast, some days go slow. But they're saying, you know what, as long as you stay focused on the amount of work and effort it takes to make things work, it's going to work. It, it sounds like common sense to me, Virgo. Um... If you're wondering, like, what the hell is going on in my relationship, try reading a relationship book. Try looking into it. Try, you know, do something. Um, and I'm saying this because you're the last sign of the day, Virgo. And the other 11 signs, it's almost like everyone was frozen in fear, not knowing what to do. And it's kind of like, when you have the world at your fingertips, you can just literally Google anything you want. You know, take it with a grain of salt, the information, but do something. Um, don't sit there and go, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of like, figure it out. If this person matters to you, if you love them, do something about it. Don't just sit there and be like, I don't know why we're not talking. Did you talk to him today? No. <laughs> okay. Um, Google, how do I bring this up in conversation? It's just very common sense. Um, this focus on growth and expansion and things moving forward, it's nice. There's love there, Virgo. There's love there. And they're saying that's the only way to do it. It's like if you want it badly enough, put in the work and show the effort. Show someone that you care rather than talk about it, be about it, do it. 
Um, and this is what I like, whether it's within the home situation, whether it's something between the two of you romantically, I feel like it's all the above because you do have so much with each other. Um, they show up, I'll give them this, they, they do show up like very brainy, but at the same time, you know, having that kind of brain and mentality, like I said, it's just common sense. It's like, well, if you want to work on something, work on something. If something's not going right, figure it out. It's just, it's just very common sense. Um, they're like, great. There's definitely emotions and feelings of love here beginning to stir and come up, and they're kind of like, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's like they have the understanding and the clarity of, like, that's what it takes. You got to do the work. Um, and that's what's interesting. They're kind of like, okay, well, what else? And they're kind of like, well, hmm, what else do I feel called to do? Nothing. I'm pretty happy and fulfilled as is. And that's what I'm talking about. It's just this energy and understanding of what to do, just knowing what to do. And if you don't know what to do, well, look and try and figure out what to do. Very simple. Very simple. Again, whoever this is, their, their understanding of emotions and thoughts and how circumstances unfold. This is so very interesting. Um, I'm not going to say that like, they have a checklist of how they kind of look and perceive things. It's just the energy of an understanding. Um, they feel really good, Virgo. There's also a lot, there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of passion there. But for some reason, regarding the passion, too, um, they're kind of saying that's a work in progress, just as everything and anything is in life, Virgo. It's kind of like, you know, it's energy. You, you, the only way to learn about it is to work with it rather than be like, oh, I don't know, so I'm not going to touch that. It's sort of like, okay, well, you're, you're you know, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. It's not going to change on its own. Um, it's not going to get any better on its own. It's only going to get worse, but live and live and let live um they're very adamant and determined to say you know what they feel how they feel they are remaining you know very inspired and hopeful for the connection between the two of you and that's what's interesting too is they're kind of saying commitment and devotion and dedication they, there may be problems and issues between the two of you virgo but at the same time once again look how they respond very lovingly just very lovingly it's the understanding it's the maturity Things are going to happen. Things are going to take place. There's going to be problems. There's going to be issues. It's literally, it's knowing how to work with it. And there's a connection. Like I said, it's knowing how to work with it. again um again they're, they're kind of saying shit happens shit happens but the connection still stands um i kind of feel like even though they, they do kind of get a little bit up in their head a little bit um but again very quickly they're kind of they're, it's almost like they know not to stay too much in that anxiety it's kind of like okay they need to do something to kind of get themselves back out of their head and back into reality um like once again very grounded very very grounded very stable um and they're like you know what because there is so much in place this is interesting because there is so much in place between the two of you 
they take on this kind of like elder energy, like responsibility, kind of like overseeing everything, kind of very watchful of everything. Um, and it's almost kind of like they remind themselves, interestingly enough, they remind themselves of who they are. And once again, that just snaps them right back out of it and puts them on track emotionally and mentally. And it's kind of like, this is what it's like, Virgo. This is how relationships work. It, you know, it's an energy of navigating through it, the ups and downs, the emotions, the thoughts, the difficulties, the challenges, whatever life throws your way. It's all a matter of how you confront it and deal with it and face it, as well as, you know, self-management of your emotions and your thoughts and your energies. Um, Ace of Swords on top of the deck. They clearly know their truth. They know where they stand, too. Um, Jesus Louise, thank you, Virgo. <laughs> of course, if you are dealing with anyone... This is a nice energy. This is the nicest energy I've seen today. You could be dealing with an air sign, an earth sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. Goodbye.